All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how we can install uh, CocoaPods and use other frameworks inside our iOS project. So if we hop over into Google Chrome here, and I already opened up a GitHub website, and I went to this project right here, BRYX banner, and essentially it's a drop-down banner, so like for notification purposes, um, it's pretty useful inside of your app. So we're going to take a look at how we can install this inside of your own application. So if we scroll down, most of these uh, frameworks or projects inside of GitHub have good documentation. So if you scroll down here, you can see uh, installation right here. So there's a couple ways that you can install it. And here it looks like uh, you have the CogoPods, you have Carthridge, and usually you can install it manually, but he doesn't have it listed here. But today we're going to focus on CocoaPods. So first, what we're going to do actually, we're going to open up Xcode and we're going to create a new Xcode project and a single view application. And I'll just call it something like banner view and click next and create. And then we can actually minimize that for now. And let's go back into our browser. And now right here, the first step is we need to add this to our pod file. So I'm actually going to highlight this and copy that, and I'm going to minimize this. And now I'm going to find the project that we just created. So it's called Banner View. It's right here. I'm going to open up this. And inside of here, this is where we're going to place our pod file. So to do that, you want to open up Terminal. And I'll actually open up a new one. And what we're going to do, you're going to want to navigate to your project. So ours is stored on the desktop, so we're going to say CD desktop and another easy way to do it is instead of just uh, typing you can just use CD and actually just drag the file in and hit enter and now you're inside of this and now that we're inside of this folder right here we actually want to create the pod file so to do that we're going to say pod in it and hit return and you'll see here it generates a pod file right here and now we're going to open this up and it should open up a text edit and under this line right here where it says pods for banner view or whatever your project is called you're going to want to hit enter a few times and you're going to want to hit paste on this pod that we copied from our browser and then you can just simply save that and close it and now we want to go back into our terminal window and just simply say pod install and hit enter and you should see it install right here and now that we have that uh, done we can actually Go into Xcode and close this project because we actually want to use this workspace now instead of Xcode project. So double click this banner view dot workshop or workspace, I'm sorry. And then we can just expand the window. And I'm going to change this to the iPhone X and drop this down and go into view controller. All right, so now that I'm actually inside of this view controller, I'm going to go back into the browser. And if we scroll up a bit, you can see how um, they give us instructions here on how to actually use it. So the first step is to just import this BRYX banner. So we'll control and copy that. Go back into our view controller file and paste it up at the top. Next, uh, to simply create a banner, you just use this initializer right here and simply copy and paste all of this. And we can go into here inside of our view to load and I'll paste it in here. And for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna have it go off right when the view is loaded, but obviously you would have it for some other action all right, so now that we have this uh, pasted in here, we're going to go back into our storyboard and we just need to make sure, I already have it down here, but you just need to make sure that you embed this uh, view controller inside a navigation controller. So to do that, you would just click here, go to editor and embed in a navigation controller, and that's how you would get this. And then if you run it now and wait for the view to load, you'll see that it pops up with the notification at the very top right away. And there you go, guys. I hope you understand how to do this. If you have any questions, leave it down below, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.